In this tutorial I will show you how to make a cannon. Uh, you're gonna start with making a button. Which you're just gonna name to button and take the flags, don't move. You can also make it parent to the cannon if you want it to be on the cannon. But I want to be there and control the cannon. Okay, uh, in the cannon gotta be two parts. One part that will spin left and right and one part that will spin up and down. Okay, so I gotta take it. Uh, Yeah, um, so I made two part uh, cannon, one uh, button, uh, funk underscore rotating, spin set, flags uh, not solid, I take the parent to spin x, and the uh, spin x is this one, funk rotating two, and x axis on flag, flags, okay, and I also made a cannonball, just a cannonball, um, named it cannonball, and take Nothing on flags. Okay. Now I'm gonna make the trigger. Okay, you're gonna make it so it is in the in the pipe, but also outside. Okay, uh, control it. Press con uh, control plus T. Make it trigger. Underscore push. You don't have to name it. Just make it parent to the pipe, which is spin X, uh, flags, take away clients, and uh, fill in physics objects, apply. Okay. Now I'm gonna make a game UI. So we take up that entity tool and make an entity. Take up game UI. Press apply. You gotta name it to UI. Flags, you can fool around with this if you want to. Uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, and now we're gonna make a free logic case. Logic case. Apply it. We're gonna make one that is fire, which will make the cannibal yeah, fire. You're gonna take case one, one, and case two, zero. Apply. No flags or anything. Okay. Now we can duplicate it. Okay. I'm gonna change the name to rotate set. Case one will be zero. Um. Yeah. Uh, minus one. I mean. Case two will be zero. Case three will be one. Apply. We can duplicate this one. Okay. And have it just same, just change name to rotate X apply. Okay. Now we're gonna make a uh, other entity called logic branch. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna name it to fire branch. Whoops. Branch, okay. Name doesn't really matter, it's just so it's easier for you to know what it is. Okay. Now we're gonna make a filter activator. Yeah, yeah, yeah now, like I'm saying, like I, I don't know if I said this, I, in the, now I will just make everything that I will need. Filter activator name. You can name it to filter. Okay, uh Okay. And now we are gonna make a E N V and T T Maker. We're gonna name it to Maker. Um, okay. That's okay. And also a point template called Spawner.
Okay. Now I will put everything together. Okay, I'm gonna start with the UI, or let's say the button. Uh, on outputs, it will be a lot of adding now. Add on pressed UI. Activate. Apply. Um, I will also add on pressed fire branch set value to one apply okay now I will move to the UE outputs just gonna find the UE I got little seeing notes which I just can't find okay there we got it uh, add on attack axis fire in value okay um, also player off fire branch set value um, to zero In delay of yeah five seconds five seconds yeah take let's say five seconds okay uh, player off what is it um button there we go button player off button unlock there we go okay now we're gonna take it X axis rotate set in value Y axis rotate X in value apply okay and now I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start with the the uh, what is it called? The thing that makes the ball spawn. So we're gonna take the logic branch branch branch. Okay, add on through maker. There we go maker. Force spawn. Add on through fire branch set value zero add on through cannonball break so you won't have a like a lot of cannonballs laying around there because that will crash the map a break after like it depends on how far you want the cannonball to go, but yeah, I think 7 seconds, 5 seconds. Add uh, on through fire branch, set value to 1 after delay of yeah, 5 seconds. Now I take 5.5, 5.5. Apply. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna take the filter activator name. Take filter name. Yeah, filter name cannonball. Cannonball. Okay. Apply. No outputs, I think. No. And now we take the env entity maker. Make parent to the the uh, pipe you got which is spin X for me and point template to spawn should be spawner 
line. And now go to the spawner and take template one. Cannonball. Okay, this will now make the uh, ball spawn. 